Muslims believe that Ramadan is the month in which the first verses of the Quran or Islam's holy book were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad as he meditated in a cavern outside Mecca. That is why in today's video we want to show you how the first day of the holy month is lived in Turkey, what are the traditions and what tourists should take into consideration when visiting the country during Ramadan. But before we continue with the video, we would love to invite you to check out our 58-page digital booklet where we share the most useful information to prepare your upcoming trip, such as itineraries in Istanbul from 24 up to 7 days and one in Cappadocia for 3 days, hotel recommendations for all budgets in both cities, restaurants, shopping malls, best rooftops, terraces, nightclubs, and much more. So if you want to purchase yours, you can click on the link shared in the description box and pinned comment. Hurry up because we have amazing discounts. Throughout the holy month of Ramadan, Muslims around the world will start fasting from the first prayer, prayer which is at sunrise, all the way to the prayer at sunset. So depending on the country they are living in, some Muslims will be fasting from 10 hours up to more than 20 hours. Fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam, along with the Muslim declaration of faith, daily prayers, charity, and performing the pilgrimage to Mecca. When people are fasting, this means that they are abstaining from eating, drinking, smoking, sexual relations, and all forms of immoral behavior, including impure or unkind thoughts, to achieve a greater taqwa. And the taqwa means the consciousness of God. At the moment, we are here in Sultanahmet Square, and this is one of the main places where also the Ramadan season can be celebrated, especially during the Iftar. So we're going to show you around what the first day of this holy month looks like. Many of you also might be wondering, when is the Ramadan month? So let me tell you that actually every year it changes because it follows the Muslim calendar, which is a lunar one. As you can see, mostly every shop is open. Also, every single restaurant is active. So in, in case that you were wondering if you could eat or even go to restaurants during the daytime, during the holy month of Ramadan, well, we are showing you that everything is active. You don't really have to worry about that. Even a lot of people are eating on the streets, at the restaurants. And trust me, you're not going to be the only one who is not fasting. Also, there are many Turkish people who do not fast and you can even find them in restaurants uh, having a, a chai or many other things so you don't have to worry about anything you will be able to find places to sit at enjoy a nice meal and snack in between your meals Muslims who are fasting throughout this holy month, they usually wake up very early in the morning right before the sunrise prayer in order to have their last meal of the day before starting the long journey for fasting. And afterwards, between 10 to even 20 hours later, they, they will be break their fasting with the Iftar time. Also during the day, Muslims are encouraged to engage in charity and devote extra time and attention to spiritual activities, such as praying and reading the Quran. If you really want to experience the spirit and all the environment of the holy month of the Ramadan, we highly recommend you to go either to Sultanahmet Square, Bayezid Square, Maltepe, Uskudar, and lastly, Ayub Sultan. But in my opinion, one of the best places to experience all of this spirit will be Ayub Sultan. Uh, somehow here you can feel it even more, uh, people are more traditional, so this is one of, of my favorite places to spend at least a couple of days during the Ramadan season. 
if you're coming to Turkey during the holy month of Ramadan and you are not a Muslim, you don't really have to worry because some people they think that there might be many rules that you must follow. But in the case of Turkey, actually it's a secular country and you don't really have to worry about that. The only thing that we recommend you, and this is just for respect to people who are fasting, is not to openly eat in public, in very public areas or drink water, especially in front of them, because we don't really know who is fasting and who isn't. So in my case, what I try to do, especially when I need to go out, is that if, I, if I'm thirsty and I need to eat something or drink something, I just go somewhere to a little cafe and I try to, to have all of those things inside a place. That way I'm not like bothering someone else. Of course, nobody will tell you anything like, why are you drinking water or why are you eating in front of us? Nobody will say that, but just for respect for other people. If you're in the country during Ramadan month, don't forget to try the Ramadan Pidesi at any bakery you won't regret it. This is an important item on an iftar table, and you can see that there are plenty of people waiting in line to take home for the iftar. Later on, the fast is broken with a meal at the evening before the sunset, and this meal is called the iftar. During the iftar moment is where when usually families gather all together either at homes even they go to restaurants or also in many mosques mosques and main centers around the city there are many long tables where also the community gets together so right now we're going to show you what the iftar looks like in turkey and for that we have made a reservation in one restaurant very close to Ayub sultan mosque because we're going to show you what the menu is and all the special dishes that we're going to have for this special event Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Finally, it is the Easter time and that means that we are breaking the fast. So we are here already at the restaurant and we're gonna have our special Easter menu. And okay, I'm not I'm not a Muslim, but as a sol solidarity towards our Muslim friends and everything, I also wanted to experience what it is and, and all of this spiritual situation. So having this meal for the first time, <laughs> It feels really good, especially drinking water because also I haven't drunk water for many hours and this is my first meal of the day as all of our Muslim <laughs> friends fasting. So yeah, so our menu is about to come. Mm -hmm. Now we have our merji mekchorbasin or the lentil soup and I'm pretty sure it will be so good. As I mentioned before, many restaurants in the city will have a fixed menu, especially for the iftar meals. So in our case, we chose one Iskender kebab and also another Turkish dish, which is called güvec. It's a mixture of meat and with vegetables, which is very good. And also our salad and our soup, the mercimek şorbası, which is also known as lentil soup. So right now I'm gonna try it, let's see. This is my güvec. Let's go. <laughs> and also, I wanted to show you the Iskender kebab. And this is not for me, of course, because this is already too much. But this is what my husband got for for him. So as you can see here, we have the yogurt, the donut, and also this uh, pita bread, which we have it here, and some veggies. So let me try it very quick because I love I love stealing his food. Mm -hmm. It's good, I approve it. 
And of course, my favorite part of the menu is already here, which is the dessert. And this one is called gulach, which is a very special Turkish dessert and that you can find that actually mostly every year, but it will be a bit difficult to find that in mostly every place. So if you really want to try this one, you will have a better chance to find it during the Ramadan season because this is especially for Ramadan as well. And well, this is a milky type dessert. They also put like some walnut and I don't know what the name is this in English and well, I highly recommend you trying this one because it's really good and it's not as heavy as any other like baklava or kunefe, it's not that heavy. So this one it's it's a bit lighter. <laughs> And for this menu, we only pay 280 Turkish Liras, which means 140 Turkish Liras per person. For a menu of three courses, that means the soup, the salad, the main dish, the dessert, and a drink included as well. So finally, we are going to the most asked questions from our followers. Is it worth visiting Turkey during the holy month of Ramadan? Well, I will tell you that it's definitely worth a visit. First of all, because if you're somebody who would love to experience a different side of a Muslim country like Turkey, then I will highly recommend you coming here. Because let's remember that also traveling is about getting to know the culture and the traditions of that new country. And also I must tell you that the Ramadan month is one of my favorite seasons in the country because everything like the environment, the people, it's about sharing and caring for the others. So it is definitely a good moment to come. So as you can see from our video, all of the museums, shops, main touristic attractions and basically every shop and restaurant are open. So you will not find yourself limited in visiting the places. You can freely come and travel as free as you want. So thanks a lot for following us in this new experience during the Ramadan month in Turkey. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow more videos on our channel about Turkey and Istanbul. See you next time. Bye-bye.